Hello fans, collectors, investors, welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I'm Iconic Al, and I was inspired to make a short video today because I have a hobby hack that I wanna share with the community. If it helps anybody, I'm happy. Um, I received a new pickup today. It's a Max Scherzer Rookie Refractor from the 2008 Bowman Draft, Bowman Chrome Draft. It's my first Scherzer rookie card. And I noticed there were some hairline scratching, uh, some superficial scratches on the case, which I'll show in a second. Uh, but my hack is basically I can, I've learned a way to buff out those surface hairline scratches using a simple car wax. So without further ado, I'm just gonna share my method to getting uh, some very superficial hairline scratches out of slabs, whether PSA, BGS, or SGC. I've, it's worked for all of them in the past for me, and I just wanted to share it with the community. So stay tuned and find out how to do this. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Well, it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Okay, welcome back to Al's Slab Care. This is a pretty simple process. Um, let me just try to show you what I see on this in terms of the superficial scratches. Uh, they may be hard to see on my camera here, but around the Max Scherzer signature, there's some light scratches on the case. And then up around his jersey here, there's some kind of wispy little scratches across the case. Uh, nothing too major, nothing too deep, but there's enough little surface scratches on this PSA case that uh, this is one that I would definitely want to polish up a little bit. Uh, so I figured, well, before I do this, I might as well just make a video doing it because I, I do this pretty often. Whenever I get a case in the mail uh, from an eBay listing or something, even if it's little minor wispy scratches on a slab, it always makes it look better. So here's what I do, basically. Um, I recommend having sort of a microfiber cloth. You can get these at your, your local Pep Boys or uh, AutoZone or one of those auto stores generally has these real cheap. Um, a rag of some kind, paper towel. And then I use this Gold Class Carnaba Premium Paste Wax. I, th I think probably any car wax would work just, just fine. But basically you have just some car wax in there. And I use this sort of microfiber, softer type of cloth. Get a little bit of that wax on there. And then kind of like Mr. Miyagi taught us, kind of wax on in one direction, making little circles, focusing on those areas where the scratches were most prominent. I'm applying, you know, moderate pressure. I'm not pressing so hard that I'm afraid the, the slab's gonna crack or anything, but you know, some moderate pressure along with those little circles. This is usually very sufficient to buff out minor little wispy scratches. And once you feel like you've sort of traversed the whole surface of the slab that you're concerned about, and you could repeat this multiple times, depending on sort of the depth of the scratches and how many scratches are on it. Um, but with these, you probably sh shouldn't need to repeat this more than once. And then you kind of get another surface here and then kind of go the opposite direction, wax off, so to speak. And this generally is pretty effective from you know, what I've seen and I've never had any harm come to the slab itself from doing this. I mean, it's meant for the surface of a car. So it, uh, yeah, it shouldn't harm any of this surface here. And then once you kind of get most of the wax off, you can kind of look at it 
see how it looks to the naked eye. Oh, it looks better for sure. And then usually I'll take this secondary rag, give it one more sort of dry polish, apply a little heavier pressure to it as, a, as an added buff, as a buffer. I feel like uh, get some velocity going with that thing. And then, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then you could give it one final drying with the uh, paper towel. But really, that's probably gonna be all this one needs. And really, I don't see any evidence of those little wispy scratches that were there before. Oh, I see a little extra residue on there still. I'll have to give this a heavier wipe down once I stop this video, but you get the idea. Um, really comes out looking pretty clean, like a brand new slab that hasn't been through the mail or hasn't been handled very much. So don't think that just because your slab has scratches on it, that that needs to get reholdered. It does, that needs to get re-slabbed because more times than not, even when I get a pretty heavily scratched slab, um, you can buff those out using nothing more than just simple auto wax. So this is just my, you know, message out to the hobby community that this is a very easy thing to do with your slabs. Uh, very quick, very easy, inexpensive, and it may save you some money in uh, re-slabbing fees. So that's what I have for you today. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, keep collecting and stay iconic.